wahamba nati oh wahamba nati oh wahamba nati siabonga siabonga jesu siabonga konyama yesu siabonga jesu siabonga siabonga jesu siabonga konyama yesu siabonga jesu siabonga wafamba nesu oh wafamba nesu oh wafamba nesu tenu tenda wafamba nesu oh wafamba nesu oh wafamba nesu tenu tenda tenu tenda jesu tenu tenda gamba lendenga tenu tenda jesu tenu tenda Tino tinda Jesu Tino tinda gamba rendinga Tino tinda Jesu Tino tinda Wahamba nati oh wahamba nati oh wahamba nati siabonga Wahamba nati oh wahamba nati oh wahamba nati Praise my Lord, with all creatures, especially brothers, sung, to whom you lighten the day for us. He is beautiful and radiant, with great splendor, he signifies you, O Most High. Be praised, my Lord, for sister moon and the stars, clear and precious and lovely, they are formed in heaven. Be praised, my Lord, for brother wind, and by air and clouds, 
clear skies and always by which you give sustenance to your creatures. We praise my Lord for Sister Water, who is very useful and humble and precious and pure. We praise my Lord for Brother Fire, by whom the night is illuminated for us. He is beautiful and cheerful, full of power and strength. We praise my Lord for our sister, Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us and produces diverse fruits and colored flowers and grass. The Lord be with you and also with me. Praise the Lord. Praise Him, you servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, our Creator, Jesus, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life. Blessed be God's name, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God of mercy, we come before you seeking forgiveness because we know how much we have failed you. You created a world of beauty and you gave your people paradise. But we have not been good stewards of the earth we have inherited. The rivers are polluted, the air is made impure. Forests are felled and fertile land turned to deserts. And for pride and greed, whole species are going endangered. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us. Harden our sins and set us free from them. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Isifundo sokala sasifumana kunwati ya Exodus. Isafluko nga mashumi ama bini. Sisafunda ukala kusafluko na sokala. Yoku chogu safluko na sesini. Siti ibese kusafluko na sesitenga. Uyoku chogu safluko na sesitoba. Zesitabezele kusafluko na sesumi elna bini. Uyoku chogu kusafluko na sa mashumi ama bini. Utipo wa wateta ke onge la mwazi wati. Dimge uova utipo wako. Waku kupa ezo ila seiput. Endi nyo kuboka. Uze unga bina tiko bambi inga pande kwa mu. Uze unga zenze ili mfane kiso kwenye weyo. Nukubangu wa ipina indo. Emili sele ese zulu ni pezulu. Na se mshabe ni pansi. Uze unga fumane ulibize ika malika yeova utipo wako. Kuba uye uova akai kumenza msula ufumana alibize ika malaki. Kumbula umshawe sabato kuba umalise. Wasebenza imisha imitandatu. Uwenze wonke umsebenzu wako. Beka uishono nyoko ukuzi ululu imisha yako imisha beni. Akunika uona uyeofa utiku wako. Uze unga bulali. Uze unga kikaisi. 
uze ungebi, uze unga ngainu bunga na bobo koki wa wako, uze unga mwaneli umzi wa wako, uze unga mwaneli umfazi wa wako, nesitaka saki, nesitaka kazi saki, nengwa mozake, ne esili laki, nenye indwa yeyo mmelwane wako. Bonge abandu abazi bona indutumo, nemibane, nezandi sisi zongo zentaba, ingumsi, abandu babona ke, Nangazela, bamela kute, bati kumozisi, teta wena nati, siya kuva, makanga teti nati utiko, seze siife. Wati umozisi bandwine, musanu kuhika kuba, utiko, uze kunilinga, ukuba kubeko, ukumo hika, ebusuwe nibe, eli lizulikati. Kuvelenga kwa tu kuchoke la mubuku ya masalimo 19 verse 1 to 14. Tilipa mao. Zaku muamba zima lengeza za ule melelo wa mlungu. Ntambo lima lalikira nchito za manja ake. Tiku ndi siku zima yankula mao ambiri. Utiku ndi usiku zima onesa poyera nzelu. Palibe kuyankula palibe mao aliwonsi. Li ulao sili mbeka. Kwa mautenga wao umapita padziko lonse la pansi. Mauo ama fika mpaka kumaleke zero aziko la pansi. Zua lilingati mkwatibwi ochoke obwera kuchokera kunsanja yake. Ngati katwiri okondorera kutamanga pampikitano. Lima turuka kuyambira mbali ina yantambo ndi kuzunguliria mpaka mbali inanso. Palibe chintu chota kupewa kutenta kwake. La mulo la Yehova ndi languiro kutiti muta moyo. Maumboni a Yehova ndi odali wika ama peleka nzelu kwa opanda nzelu. Malangizo a Yehova ndi olungama ama peleka chimwemwe muntima. Malamulo a Yehova ndi onyezi mira ama peleka kuwala. Kuopa Yehova ndi echintu changwiro. Shima kala mpaka miaya. Maweruzo a Yehova ndi aona ndipo Onse ndi olungama, ndi amtengo wapatari kuposa golide. Kupota golide weni weni ndi oteke mebra kupota uchi. Kuposa uchi ochokera chisa chake. Mtumiki wanu ama chenje zedu anawo. Powasunga pali mpoto ya ikuru. Ndani angate kuziwa zola kwa zake. Mundikuru rukile zola kwa zanga zobisika. Muteteze mtumiki wanunso kumachimo ochita kuziwa. Iwo asandi la mulire kotero. Ndi zakala otsalakwa. Wopanda mlandu wa chimo lalikulu. Mau amka mwanga ndi zo lingarira za mtima mwanga. Zikale zo kondwele tapamato pani. Inu Yehova tantwe langa ndi mpulu mtu wanga. Hapa ndie pasilila kubelenga kwatu kwa salimu. Mao batuliga ojo gila mbuku la afilipo. 3 kuyamba ndi mea 4 mpaga 14. Mao dito golela kudi. Awa jenjeza asatade atumuo nyenga. Awa netele zibato za nzimu. 4. Ngadi wina yese, akulubilila ntubi, maga maga inio. Odu lidwa ntigu la jitatu, ndi la jisano. Wamba de wa Israeli, wafugula Benjamini, mhebri wa hebeli, monga mwala mulu mfalisi. Monga mwachangu, olonda londa ezekiri. Monga mwachilungamo, chamla mulu, okala, osala kwa ini. Komadu zonse zimene, Zina ndi bindulila ndi zomwezo ndi na ziesa nchita higo jifugwa ja kristu. Komadu zeni zeniso ndi yesa, ndi yesa zose zikala jita higo jifugwa ja, ja mabamba nidwe. Aji zindigilo ja kristu yesu ambuye wanga. Jifugwa ja yeyo ndi nada igiti, nada igita zintu zose ndibo ndi ziesa zaba zara. Kuri ndika zionjezele kristu. Ndi kupeze edwa mwaiye o sata. Wakukala na chojungamu, chayamla muro. Kumajimene, chajikurubilio, chakristu. 
chilunga mocho chocho kela mwamulungu ndi chikulubiro kuti ndi zindikile iye ndi mphavu yakuka kwache ndi chanjano cha zowa wazache pofanizidwa ndi imfa yache ngati nkotheka ndikafikile kuka kwa kufa sikunena kuti ndinana ndila kale kapena kuti ndatha kukonzeka wa mphavu wa mphumpu Koma ndilo ndeta, ngadiso ndika gwile ichijimene ama ndigwilila Yesu Kristu. Abale ine, sindi welengela ndeka kuti ndata ndata kujigwila koma jintu chimozi ndi chijita. Po iwa ladi za mbuyo, ndukutamba litila za ntsogolo. Ndilo ndeta, poleke zilapo kutati ila mfupo wa maitanidwe akumwamba amulungu amwa Yesu Kristu aba ndipo bathela mawathu viumbe vyote vya Mungu wetu na mfalme wetu Yumbe vyote vya Mungu wetu na mfalme wetu pazeni sauti ili nasi mwinde pazeni sauti ili nasi All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing, the burning sun with golden beams, Worship him in humbleness. Oh, si 
Oh, praise the Father, praise the Son. In Benny, in Benny. And praise the Spirit, three in one. For Benny, so did in Benny. You may not take your mood away to not fall me away to. You may not take your mood away to not fall me away to. For Benny, so would be. Healing us in my name. For Benny, so would be. Healing us in women. Amen. What to work with? Velani o tenga wa bwino wo lengezedwa ndi Mateo oyela mutu wa 21 velenga ndi me 33 kudzafika a 44 ulemerero ukhale kwa Kristu ambuye Yesu adati imvani fanidzolina mutu wina anali ndi munda wake Munda mo ada jala mo mipesa na manga mpanda kuzinga munda o ada kumba mkuti yopendera mo mpesa na manga msanja yolondera munda o pambuyo pate munda uja ada ukwerega alimi iye kunyamuka ulendo wakuziko. Lina Nyengo Yochola Zibaso Ida Nikiva Mutuja Adatuma and Shido Ake Kwa Adimi Aja Kuti Akatenge Ko Zibaso Zamunda Muja Koma Adimimo Adawa Kwila and Shido Aja Wina Kumenya Wina Kumopa Wina Kumponya niyana Mutu uja adatu maso Anjito ena Pochuluka koposa oyamba aja Ndipo alimi aja Adawa chita chimozi mozi Pochili zabake Adawa tumina mwana wake Nanena kuti Mwana wanga Yekayo Mchitila ulemu Koma Pamene alimio Adaona umwana wake Adaya mbabuza Na kuti Amene Ndiye amene ati Adzamsire chumachi Tie nitimupe Kuti jizakare Chatu Sono adamu kwirati Na mponya kunja Kwa mundao Kumoma Kodi mwini munda wampesa uja Aka zafika Aza watani alimi aja Iyo adati Aza wapa Mwa sunza alimi oima Munda uja mkubeleka alimi ena Amene aza mbasa zibaso zake Panyengo yake Yesu alawafunza kuti Kodi Monga sinu Dawelingi Marembo aja May the words of my mouth And the meditations of my heart Be acceptable to you O Lord my God And my Redeemer we are concluding the season of creation on St. Francis Day, the patron saint of ecologists. In some ways, St. Francis of Assisi could be viewed as the original Earth Day advocate. 
Not only did he care for the poor and sick, but he preached numerous sermons on animals and wanted all creatures on earth, including humans, to be treated as equals under God. St. Francis of Assisi, once renowned for drinking and partying in his youth, later abandoned the life of luxury for a life devoted to Christianity after hearing a voice of God who commanded him to rebuild the Christian church and live and respect integrity of creation relating to God's creation as members of God's family and recognizing God's goodness in the material world. In context of St. Francis Day, let us look at the commandments given in the book of Exodus in a slightly different way from the way we have always done. God's purpose for the commandments was not to impose draconian rules on a wayward humanity. They were given to keep humanity from self-destruction. They were meant to teach decent behavior, a way on how to treat others, including nature, a way to make life for more better. All rules have that as their aim, protection of the weaker against the stronger, inhibition of insensitive actions against others, and curbing dangerous greed and excesses. That teaches us that human nature needs boundaries if we are to live responsibly and in consideration of all, especially the weak. The intention of the Ten Commandments is not to portray our God as an authoritarian God, but they are a sign of God's covenant with the people of Israel. His intention was for his people to live whole and healthy lives. These rules were a contrast to life under Pharaoh, a life of slavery. They were his strategy for fending off a return to the pre-Exodus conditions of exploitation and brutality within the community. They are policies intended to create a society that practices God's justice instead of Pharaoh's injustice and to establish neighborly well-being instead of coercion, fear and exploitation. The policies are in three broad categories. The first three are said that there is only one God to be worshipped. When we make what is not God, God, things start to go wrong. We become enslaved to gods that do not have uh, our best interest at heart. Money being the biggest idol has to serve the interest of society and not the other way around. The second set of commandments concern uh, human social relationships. They seek to make human community possible by setting limits to the acquisitive capacity of members of the community, the capacity to seize and confiscate by power what is necessary to the life of the neighbor. Do not steal, do not commit adultery, do not covet, do not cheat, do not lie. These commands set limits that require each person to conduct themselves as responsible members of the community, protecting people and their property. The powerful pharaohs are stopped from taking all and leaving you and nature destitute. Thirdly, the commandment of the Sabbath 
is at the core of creation. It is the invitation to rest. In relation to creation, it looks backwards and compares God to the world of Pharaoh in which there is no rest but only feverish productivity. Work, 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 and more work for you slaves. We are commanded to respect life and put limits to production and consumption. We are also called upon to rest in the presence of the Lord. On this holy day, find peace and security in the love of God and not feverish activity. This augurs very well with the season of creation theme for this year, a jubilee for the earth, a time of rest and restitution. The lockdown rules due to the coronavirus pandemic gave us a foretaste of how it would be like if we gave the earth rest. Therefore, the Ten Commandments were an invitation from God for us to do things that will make the world a better place, free from exploitation. The Jubilee for the Earth is a time for us to take time and ponder about our goal and destination. In Philippians, Paul confesses the surpassing value of knowing Jesus Christ as Lord, the goal of life being to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering and finally to receive the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Knowing and following Christ will make us act like uh, the one who created us, the one who loves, the one who heals and owns us, all including nature. Sally McFaig says, the world is our meeting place with God. If so, we must look after it. Look at our involvement in creation in respect of the ministry of Jesus. Hello, brothers and sisters. Here is Brother Oswaldo from uh, Angola Diocese. Now we are going to have uh, the, the prayer, the time of creation in Portuguese. Eterno Criador da vida, pela vossa palavra, a terra produziu plantas contendo sementes e árvores, todos os tipos que produzem frutos, os rios, as montanhas, os minerais, os mares e as florestas sustentaram a vida. Todos os olhos se voltaram a vós para satisfazer as necessidades de todos os seres viventes. E ao longo do tempo a terra sustentou a vida. Ao longo dos ciclos planetários de dias e estações, renovação e crescimento, abris a vossa mão para dar às criaturas a nossa comida no momento propício. Em vossa sabedoria, nos destes o Shabat, um tempo abençoado para descanso na gratidão por tudo que nos destes, um tempo para nos livrarmos do consumo viciante, um tempo para permitir que a terra e todas as criaturas descansem de fardo da produção. Mas... Ultimamente, o nosso viver força o planeta para além dos seus limites. Nossas demandas por crescimento e nosso ciclo de produção e consumo sem fim estão indo o nosso mundo. As florestas estão desma desmatadas. O sol é erodindo 
os campos morrendo, os desertos aumentando, os, os mares. acidificando e as tormentas aumentando. Não temos permitido que as terras guardem o seu Shabat e a terra está lutando para ser renovada. Daquele que veio proclamar a boa nova para toda a criação, Jesus Cristo. Amém. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We praise you, we bless you, holy and gracious God, source of life, abundant. From before time you made ready the creation. Your spirit moved over the deep and brought all things into being. Sun, moon and stars, earth, wind and water and every living thing in this earth. You made us in your image, you taught us to walk in your way, but we rebelled against you and wandered far away. And yet, as a mother cares for her children, you will not forget us. Time again, you called us to live in fullness of your love. And so this day we join with saints and angels in, our, in the chorus of praise that rings through eternity, lifting our voices to magnify you as we sing, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor and praise to you and holy, a holy and living God to deliver us from the power of sin and death and to reveal the riches of your grace. You looked with favor upon Mary, your willing servant, and she might that she might conceive and bear a son, Jesus, the holy child of God. Living among us, Jesus loved us. He broke bread with outcasts and sinners, healed the sick and proclaimed the good news to the poor. Jesus yearned to draw all the world to himself, yet we were needless of his call to walk in love. Then the time came for him to complete upon the cross the sacrifice of his life, and to be glorified by you. On the night before he died, Jesus, for us, Jesus was at the table with his friends. He took bread, he gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to them saying, take it for this is my body which was given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. His body was broken for us. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine. Again, he gave thanks and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Now gathered at your table, O God of all creation, and remembering Christ crucified and risen, who was and is and is to come, we offer to you our gifts of bread and wine and ourselves as a living sacrifice. Pour out your spirit upon these gifts that we may be the body and the blood of Christ. Breathe your spirit over uh, the whole earth and make us your new creation the body of Christ given for the world that you have made. In the fullness of time, bring us with all your saints from every tribe and language and people and nation to feast at the banquet prepared for the foundation of the world. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to, be, to you be honor, glory and praise forever and ever. Amen. Let us join together in the prayer, uh, the environmental Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, you are also in our homes, in the air, in the soil, in the forest, and in the oceans. Hallowed be your name by the care we take of your creation. Your kingdom come 
all that you see is good. You will, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will to till and to care. Give us this day our daily bread that all may have sufficient to live life in fullness. Forgive our sins, our greed, our exploitation, our lack of concern for other species and for future generations. As we forgive those who sin against us by reconciliation with justice and peace. Save us from the time of trial, the temptation to equate dominion with exploitation and deliver us from evil, the evil of destroying your gift of creation. For the kingdom is yours, O Lord, not ours. The power and the glory in the cross and the resurrection are yours now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, the bread which you break is not a sharing. Is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We who are many are one body, for we all share one bread. The cup of blessing which we bless is a sharing in the blood of Christ. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was broken for you, keep your body and soul in eternal life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ's body was given for you. Feed on him in your hearts with faith and thanksgiving. Amen. Having received from the Lord, let us give thanks and praise. Let's all, thanks, let's all thank and praise our Lord and our God for all the times are His and in all places our true and loving God is ever present. Through Jesus Christ, your eternal word, the wisdom from on high by whom you created all things, you laid the foundations of the world and enclosed the sea when it burst out from the womb. You brought forth all creatures of the earth and gave breath to humankind. Wondrous are you, Holy One of Blessing. All you create is a sign of hope for our journey. And so, as the morning stars sing your praises, we join the heavenly beings and all creation as we shout with joy, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor are yours, creator of all. Your word has never been silent. You called a people to yourself as a light to the nations. You delivered them from bondage and led them to a land of promise. Of your grace you gave Jesus to be human, to share our life, to proclaim the coming of your holy reign and give himself for us a fragrant offering. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you have freed us from all sin, brought us into your life, reconciled us to you and restored us to the glory you intend for us. And so, remembering all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection and the ascension, Longing for Christ coming in glory and presenting to you these gifts your earth has formed and human hands have made, we acclaim you, O Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Christ Jesus, come in glory. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine that they may be to us the body and the blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. Give of life, draw us together in the body of Christ, and in the fullness of time, gather us with all your people into the joy of our true eternal home. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, we worship you, our God and Creator, in voices and ending praise. Blessed are you now and forever.